Welcome viewers in this new video. Our main purpose in this video is to get a basic idea of power factor, how to calculate it, and how we can calculate it on EDAP, and uh, how can we improve it. And so let's start it. So firstly, what's power factor? Power factor is actually the ratio between kilowatts and kVAs. And this one is a very famous triangle. Um, and if you find out the cos theta, you will get this formula. So this is a basic formula for calculation of power factors. There are some more formulas as well. Like cos theta is equals to, cos theta is basically the power factor is equals to kilowatt over kVA. Sine theta is equals to kVA over kVA and if you apply Pythagoras theorem on this right angle triangle then we get this formula. So what we are going to do is uh, firstly find out the power factor on a bus on our SLD. So this is my SLD. Let's run for the load flow. So this is the flow of kilowatts and kVRs from generator to the load. These are the lost kilowatts and lost kVRs per bus. And this is the nominal voltage shown in form of percentage of the bus. So here on each app, uh, we will find the power factor in an indirect way. First we will find the theta and then we will find the power factor. So as previously discussed, sine theta is equal to kVR over kVA. So the kVR is reaching on this bus, bus number 4 will be actually 5543 minus these lost kVRs. So what we are doing, we are subtracting lost kVRs from the kVRs ejecting from bus 3 and we have kVAs, 9000 9, kVAs since it is a 9 MVA load and in this way we are calculating the theta taking the sine inverse of this term and then finding out the power factor. So the power factor at this condition is 0.849 or you can say 0.85 and uh, our aim is to improve this power factor. Uh, let's say if we want to improve it to 0.95 then what you'll have to do. So in order to improve the power factor we will uh, be using capacitors and in order to calculate the kVRs for the capacitor we are going to use this formula kVRs equals to p 10 theta 1 minus 10 theta 2 and uh, right now we have the power factor of 0 0.8491 like 0.85 and we want to improve it to 0.95 and the active power that the load is consuming is 7650 kilowatts so in order to find out the kVRs, what I'm doing, uh, I have uh, written 7650 in place of P and for theta 1, I'm actually taking the cos inverse of the power factor and same for the theta 2 and when I am calculating this term, I will get 2 to 4, 6.7 kVRs. Now um, let apply this capacitor on SLD. Now let's place the capacitor on bus 4. And it's rating 11 kV and 2 to 4, 6.
actually you won't find a capacitor bank of this reading. We'll have to round off it to a certain value. But in ETA we can enter this value. Now let's again go to the load flow analysis and run the load flow. What we observe is that the capacitor is providing the KVRs and the KVRs coming from the generator, they have reduced. And also uh, the bus voltage has been improved. Before uh, capacitor it was 89% and now it has improved to 93.59%. Now this is the most interesting part, whether what we calculated is actually working or not. So again calculating the power factor, whether the power factor has increased to 0.95 or not. So using the same formula and again calculating the KVRs in the same manner. And now again calculating the theta and taking the sine inverse and again um, take the cosine of the theta and we get 0.95. You can verify them and you can try it on your own. Uh, just follow the same steps. In this way we have improved the power factor of our SLD from 0.85 to 0.95 and uh, if you like this video please share it and if you have any query you can ask in the comment section and please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.